Start. Right, we've actually fired four shots there, uh, just to average it out a little bit better. Um, and now we're going to fit some muzzle brakes. Uh, first one we'll fit up is a Sarko TRG muzzle brake. Um, we'll fit this up to the test rifle now. Uh, I've actually, just for the purposes of this test, fitted a, a thread adapter so we don't have to change the threads on our test rifle. This is stepping down from 18mm metric to 9/16/24, which is what our current uh, test rifle is threaded for. So we'll screw this one on and um, see what sort of reduction we can get out of this one. These uh, Sarko brakes aren't the cheapest, they retail for about $650. So um, let's just hope it's worth it. Sarko TRG muzzle brake. Fire. This is the biggest brake that we do so far. This is a Megamax. As you can see, it's a four chamber side ported muzzle brake. Uh, the aperture sizes are graduated as the barrel, so as the bullet travels outwards, the ports get larger. Similar to the Sarko in respect that it's got a narrow top section and wider on the bottom and it has to be indexed to a correct orientation. We have a little index mark to aid the fitting for our gunsmiths and it also features an internal shoulder as well as um, the external flat here so the brake can be either pulled up on the shoulder in a conventional manner or seated to pull up tight on the nose or the muzzle of the rifle. What that means is you can use the largest thread size possible. And in using that large thread size, particularly with button rifle barrels, means that you can minimise the chance of bore enlargement, which will degrade accuracy. We'll tighten this brake to correct orientation and we'll see how it goes. Alright, this is one of our Mega Max muzzle brakes. It's a four port side venting muzzle brake. Firing. 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 Okay, barrel's a little bit, barrel's a little bit hotter now. Okay, that's some Sam. Basically, yeah, that's some fantastic results we've recorded there. Um, what we've done now is we've fired three or four shots with each muzzle brake. We can now average or measure all those readings, average them out, and that'll give us an approximate um, reading to work with. Those last three shots on the Mega Max brake. The travels were rearward were uh, 140 millimeters, 139 millimeters, and 136 millimeters. So it shows how consistent that jig really is. Um, comparing that with the Sarko TRG muzzle brake, the readings were 190 millimeters, 188 millimeters, and 187. So yeah, you can see how how reliable this system is. Um, yeah without any electronics or uh, things like that. Um, what we can do now with our known load, we can, if we want, uh, calculate the recoil energy and um, compare that with other um, factory rifles. Um, previous tests um, we've actually done with the uh, Quattromax muzzle brakes, we found that on 300 wind mag firing the same 150 grain bullets, 
uh, that reduced the recoil energy by about 73%. Uh, now what that actually equivalates to in layman's term is less than a 243 Winchester in a rifle that's of the same weight and same barrel length firing 100 grain bullets. So yeah, just shows you how much recoil reduction you really can get with muzzle brakes. Uh, yes, they do make um, a louder, you know, obviously louder to shoot, uh, but as long as you take reasonable precautions with earplugs or earmuffs, um, then it's not going to hurt you. Um, it's just like anything, you take safety precautions and you won't have any problems once you'll definitely uh, enjoy a huge percentage recoil reduction uh, with our muzzle brakes. And um, yeah, thanks for your time.